Hello and welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel, whichever one it may be. And if you are new here, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, do all those wonderful things. I am trying to get to 500 before the end of the year. Uh, last I checked, I was at 428. Uh, so if you could really help me out, there's, you know, there's not that many more to go. It's only 72 more people that's that's not that many right i did the math right yeah uh so you know it's it's doable it's possible i think we can do it um but anyway i thought i would do a standard whip and chat and we're going to be working on this lovely cat picture here it is a winter picture. I would say this is more winter than Christmas. It has a little bit of a Christmas vibe, but it is still a little bit Christmassy winter picture. I don't know. It is after Christmas now, and uh, yeah, I'm going to just work on this little guy right here. I did not section this off, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I do have some nice little Christmas washi here that I found. Um, The other day, <laughs> I found some of my diamond painting tools. I found my diamond painting tools. I found some of my kits. Um, I'm still unpacking from after the move. So we'll just go ahead and just washy this up just a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy. Uh, it is a smaller picture, so I do think that I don't have to do too, too much with it. There we go. And yeah, um, so I'm just going to do it in six sections, so that'll be good. Pretty decent sized sections, just six little sections here, a <laughs> little, <laughs> they're not that big, but they are that big, but they're not that big. And yeah, so then we'll just go ahead and get into this. I have not cut the paper at all, the plastic at all. And I realize that might be kind of a problem. Let's see if it's a problem. Sometimes you can actually just put a tear in it and then just kind of bring it down along the side of the washi and it'll tear itself nice and even, which this did. This is nice plastic. It did that nicely. So if you didn't know that, that's a little trick you can do with your plastic. And I don't have a cover minder out. I don't even know where my cover minders are. But yeah, I already started this section and I'm trading out the white for a white AB. So that's these over here. I have the white AB in them. Cause I haven't found my, my drills yet either. <laughs> it's It's been fun. Also, I do feel like I need a light pad for this, and I did find a light pad. So I'm going to set that up real quick, I think. I don't know where I'm going to plug in in here, but I'm going to figure that out because I am having a hard time seeing the symbols in this section right here. I don't know if I zoom in if it'll be easier to see. Not really. I am having a bit of a hard time seeing the symbols in that that section. Let's see if we can get the whole section. I did do a pretty decent sized section, so it's, it's kind of big. <laughs> there it is. There's the whole section in the frame. So I am going to get a light pad so I can see these symbols, and I'll be right back. Okay, couldn't actually find the light pad. I saw it. Now I don't remember where I saw it. That's one of those things. Probably in one of these boxes. Anyway, I decided to try using a flashlight instead. So there's a flashlight hanging here. That's what this is. <laughs> it's a flashlight. And there's a rebel crying. I don't know why he's crying. He's really upset about something and I don't know why. But anyway, I am working on this picture because I found... Um, a container of my 
smaller kits, my more snack size kits. I'm not gonna be right, yeah. See, there's like two colors in here also. This glue is kind of been fun. Um, yeah, so my smaller kits, my more snack size kits, my budget friendly kits. I found a container containing all of them, not all of them, but my small ones. And um, I was working on those coasters. I finished the coasters. I think I'm gonna trash the coasters. You can't, you can't see what they are. You can't even tell what they are. And I finished the December kit uh, from the month kits that I got back, I don't know, a while ago. I have October and November out and I do plan to do them. But yeah, it's, you know, it's all, it's all going to happen in its own time. But as I start to go more through the rest of the stuff that we have, so currently we have pretty much unpacked everything that we need to live on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything that we still have to unpack is all the extra stuff, like the, put that to the side. Rebel what? Rebel. I don't know. He's upset. He's upset about something. I made him stop attacking his sister. He's upset about that. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, all the stuff that we do have left to unpack is that extra stuff. My crafting supplies, the decorative items for our rooms, uh, just, you know, the little bits and bobs and extra stuff that you accumulate through your life and then you're like what do I do with all this stuff when you move for us a lot of this stuff got stuck into storage beforehand and we haven't had it for quite some time so it is going to be interesting to go through it and be like you know what I have not had you for months now I haven't wanted you I think I'm going to get rid of you is what's probably going to happen with some, a lot of this stuff, not all of it, but a lot of it. And then my diamond paintings were in there. Rebel. Are you kidding? Why? Why is he such a troublemaker? Okay. I think they're done. Yeah, just hiss at him, Cookie. Hiss at him. Oh, I gotta go get him. Okay, so much fun. So, so much fun. Um, yeah, he's in here with me now. I may have to do the Jackson Galaxy re-separate and reintroduce <laughs> with them. I shouldn't have to though, they were doing okay. Ever since we've moved, he's definitely been up on top of the girls a little bit more. Uh, Jackson Galaxy has this whole bully thing, and I know I should probably get a diffuser. I got some calming collars. I gotta find the collars and put the collar on him. <laughs> See if that works again. It did help before. So maybe it will. He's just, just a little bit extra. I don't know why. Just is. He's fine with most of the cats. Like he's good with the boys and he's good with Winnie, the one girl. But the other two girls, he definitely wants to boss them around. And he's being a bit of a bully about it. And it's not fun. And it's definitely gotten worse. And I was hoping by running them and playing them that he would... Uh, he doesn't calm down, though. 
So I don't know if it's just because there's just not enough spaces as of yet for everybody to go to because we haven't finished unpacking. We haven't finished setting up. I haven't done that. And I'm sorry, this light is kind of in the way. I could try it on the other side. I wish I had like a way to just put it like right here. <laughs> just right here. That'd be perfect. Maybe if I hold it myself with my own hand. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with him. I really don't. Like, I'm not going to rehome him. That's not happening. But I do need to do something. And I know I need to do something. Because he can't keep doing this to the girls. So right now he's with me by himself. And that's okay. Right, Rebel? You okay? Oops, somebody's at the door. See, but here's the problem is... The girls kind of initiate it because they they seek him out and then they kind of start it. It's like, but don't. I know my black cat, she doesn't. But my gray cat, it's like she has places she can go and hide and she doesn't and she'll be like right out or, you know, just to go get away. <laughs> from the other cats. I don't know, but she doesn't. And I get like, she wants to be a part of the family too. <laughs> she deserves it. She's been here longer. She's four years old. You know, she doesn't deserve this kitten up her butt all the time, but there he is, up her butt all the time. <sighs> I don't know, we'll figure it out. But anyway, Let's go back to talking about diamond paintings because that's kind of what I really want to talk about today is diamond painting, arts and crafts in general, and my plans and goals for the new year. I really should have a piece of paper and a pen with me while I talk about this so I write down anything that I say <laughs> so I don't forget. Uh, 2024 is just around the corner, literally. Today's Wednesday, so it's literally coming up. It will be 2024. Um, and I do have some goals as far as the channel. Like, I do want to start doing better as far as the picture that you see when you go to click on my video and what that is. I have a graphic design degree. I have the ability to do better. I just haven't. <laughs> and I will admit that part of that is definitely me. Um, so I want to try to do better with that picture. Um, and that, I think, is just a start in doing better overall on the channel and hopefully having better content on the channel. Uh, Rebel's starting to get upset because he's in here alone and he doesn't like being alone. I mean, he's with me, so he should be fine, but he's in here alone. I don't know if my husband comes to find us. Well, <laughs> the door to the room that I'm currently in doesn't have a doorknob. <laughs> so, uh, in order to close it, I had to push stuff up against the door. <laughs> So it stayed closed because otherwise it just pops back open. Yeah, Rebel's really getting upset for some reason. There's plenty to explore in here, Rebel. This is where all of the stuff is. It is going to be my room eventually. My art and crafts room, my gaming room, my area for everything. My husband always gets the main living room TV. He always gets the big one. I don't know how this happened in our lives, but it did. And I always get the, the secondary. 
the secondary stuff. We buy something new, he gets the new, I get the old. In this case, though, I'm getting the better. Because I'm getting the better TV. Yay. <laughs> For a change, I'm getting the better stuff. But, yeah, he always gets the new stuff anytime we get anything new. Unless it's something that we planned on being for me in which case then I get the new item because it was planned for me but otherwise he always gets the new stuff but anyway <laughs> uh, I get sidetracked so easily so yeah so I do want to start being better as far as content on the channel um, hopefully having better content I don't know how to make the content better but I will try to figure it out um, having Um, this is just not sticky enough. Like, it's so annoying. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rebel, Rebel, you're okay, honey. He gets so upset. And I wonder if he blames the other cats when he gets in trouble. And he ends up in a situation like this where he's just with me. It's just him and I. I don't know if he blames the other kids. Like, he's not... I'm not hitting him. I'm not abusing him. I'm not doing anything like that. I just picked him up and took him into another room to separate him from the others because he's being trouble. And that is his name. Rebel with a capital T. R-O-U-B-L-E. <laughs> oh, he's fun. Kittens are fun. He's not a kitten anymore either. He's going to be a year old in like less than a month at this point. <laughs> He's not a baby, but you wouldn't know it. He still acts like a baby. He's my forever kitten. He's going to figure out this door thing. He's almost got it. Oh my gosh. He's managed to figure out to push his body between the item on the door <laughs> and the door and he's almost got himself out of the room he is a smart cookie anyway oh rebel i'm trying to do a video can you just like you know just kind of try to I, yeah you're pathetic i know you can't climb up that no I know what. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, these multiplacer isn't. Isn't is working, but isn't working because it's just so sticky. I don't know what's in this. I do not know what's in this. It's not my Randa's Crafty Corner. Oh, Elsa mentioned what I'm using. This pen is from Jim's Handmade Pen Craft. Um, I got it last year in the holiday season, and I just think it looks like a nice wintry pen because it's so glittery and sparkly and I love it. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite pens. <laughs> I have a lot of nice pens though that came from Jim's Handmade Pen Craft. Um, he just does hand turning of pens and I just found him randomly on Etsy and love the pens that he produces. So I have several. Also, his prices are pretty reasonable because I have looked at other pens and spending $80 is just uh, a little out of my price point. Just a little. No, it's, uh, it's insane. I have seen some pens. They look really cool and they're $100 or $80 and stuff. And his pens look really nice. And they're usually in the $30 to $40 range. 
And I like that because the pens are affordable and they're still beautiful. Like, look at this pen. It's still, it's stunning. <laughs> it doesn't have the fanciness. Any, even, I think he even started having some, like, different ones. Like, I have some that have wood on the ends and then they're, they're clear in the middle. Or they're clear and some have flowers in them. He is got some really nice pens and they're all in a more affordable price point because I know a lot of us out there aren't exactly rolling in the dough I'm not I'm not buying anything right now because I'm currently not working and until I'm working I am going to be looking for a job soon I haven't started yet because there was so much stuff that needed to be done here at the house that I decided to take some time off to work on the house and yeah but yeah let's get back to, to diamond painting so uh, my diamond painting goals for 2024 are to definitely work through my stash like I want to work through my stash as much as I can without adding to my stash as much as I can I'm not saying that I'm not going to add to my stash because I probably am going to buy diamond paintings here and there I'm just saying that I want to try to not add to my stash. I have noticed with this diamond painting every once in a while. That was weird. I need to move it to a different spot when it doesn't unstick like that. That finally did, but it won't unstick sometimes and then I can move it to another spot. But anyway, um, so I do, I want to work through my stash as much as I can because my stash, I am finding it very easy to find the S now. Um, it has grown a lot and I know that I have a pretty decent sized stash now. So I just wanna work through my stash. I think that's a pretty easy and simple goal to work through. So at some point, I am going to do a full count, a uh, full video of my current stash of what I have as far as budget friendly and um, licensed companies, I guess, in my stash. My arm is getting a little sore, so sorry about the light change there. I'm trying to be really steady with it, but it's, it's starting to, you know, I just realized I'm not even recording properly. Let me fix it. Okay. I'm trying to do another 15 minutes of video here. So yeah, so working through my stash and I, like I said, I will do a, as I uncover, <laughs> My diamond paintings and stuff i will do a full video of my current stash how many i have what i would like to work through and how many i hope to get done by the end of this year barring of course working because i don't know what my job will be and i don't know what my hours will be so there is that and then let's see Another goal I have is to start the year off by completing any kits that I have currently kitted up and started. So anything that I have already started, already kitting up, doesn't matter if it's Halloween, if it's Christmas, if it's Easter, whatever kits that I have already started, already kitted up and just finish those and then I can focus on the rest of the stash from there so that's going to be interesting because I know I have quite a few already kitted up and I do have to go through my kits so at some point I want to go through all of my kits and just empty them all out just come on look at that nice pot there that was an aggressive pop, that's what that was. But yes, to go through my kits and do that, go through anything 
any storage that I have with stuff already in it. Oh my God, this is... <laughs> I am going to single place for the rest of this video because this is just annoying. Sometimes it gets to that point where you're just like, the diamond painting and the multi-placer just aren't having it. The rebel's just not having it either. He is, he is done. He's gonna have to suffer through another 15 minutes though. So. <laughs> he's trying so hard to get out. Oh, he's almost got it. Don't hurt yourself. He's a little wing nut. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother with him. You know what, he figures it out, he figures it out. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, so working through my stash, working through any kits that I already have kitted up. And so that will probably be my Sunday video if I manage to get to that point where I have everything that's already kitted up out and just out so I can show off what I'm going to be working on. This kit was a new start. This one was not kitted up. It was a new start, but like I said, it was one that I managed to find. I think he got out. <laughs> one that I managed to find. I'm still trying to double it to, to multi-place because I just, I just want to multi-place. Like, you get so used to doing something. Going back to how you used to do something feels weird. I used to only single place, but I've been multi-placing for a while now, and it's, I'm comfortable with multi-placing. I don't know what putty is in this pen, so I can't be like, this is this putty or this is that putty, because I, I don't know what's in this pen. Um, I know what putty's sitting right here, and I don't think it's that putty. <laughs> I think that the randest putty that's sitting right there is not in this pen because this is an older putty and I don't think it would be this sticky and maybe I should trade it out. Uh, probably will before I continue working on this diamond painting, but yes. So this one was a new start. Um, it was a new start because I um, was looking for a diamond painting to work on and I just didn't feel like doing I have like a wind time thing that's kind of similar to the coasters and I didn't feel like doing another one of those not that they're not fun it's just that you do one and you're like okay move on to something different I want to do a full picture now instead of these little coasters or whatever it happens to be <laughs> and my next one will be a wind chime because that's out and I will probably finish that and yeah, so to be better on the channel, to work through my stash, and to work through anything that's kitted up, and to kit down <laughs> anything I've already completed. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I wanted to do more, but this cat is just, I don't even know what to do with him at this point. He got himself out and now he wants back in. So it's, it's just a struggle. The struggle is real in this house. But hopefully my Sunday video will be a video about what is already kitted up because I will have gotten to a point where I can do that. We are getting some shelving units. All right, well, I gotta go, I guess. I really hope you have enjoyed this video and I will try to write down my goals. If I have any more goals that I wanna say, I'll put them in the Friday video. I don't know what that's going to be at this point. It'll probably be on this canvas. And I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching.